What was this now? Oh, it, Pat and I... We were a little drinky a while ago, and we were outside one of our favorite restaurants, mm -hmm. and Paige was pushing my buttons. So yeah. when I was on the street, I was, uh, I was in a playful way uh, yelling playful. at the top of my lungs, I will kill you. I will beat you until you die. And I was laughing hysterically. I will, I will kill you, woman. I will kill you. Because look is, at him. I, I tower over him. And He's she so was weak. laughing very hard and hysterically. But she was laughing so hard that it looked like she was crying. <laughs> yeah, I was doubled over holding my stomach because I was laughing so hard. And these two dudes walk over and they're like, excuse me, is everything all right over here? And I was like, everything's fine. And super, so, they're guys like your good. size, like big dudes. So super good. The correct super comeuppance. Good. It, then of of the world occurred in a moment of yeah. misunderstanding, which, oh, yeah. which you know, kudos to those guys. And and how that and how that play out? Um, uh, they 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 believed me because I because I'm like really no. He's, and then I'm, I started I'm like, to look laugh. at him, and I, okay. I was like, guys, look at him, please. See? And okay. then they were like, okay. oh yeah, of course. You can okay. get away with anything if you're tiny. See, so yeah, That's I might terrible. have told the story on the podcast before, but like once upon a time, I was that guy. Yeah, because it was Nuit Blanche uh, here, and mm -hmm. we were getting on the. 24 hour running subway and I, I just saw like this couple and um like I don't know the girl was eating a bag of chips and then the guy like smacked the bag out of her hand <laughs> and then just started like grabbing her tried to grab her purse and she was just like get away get the fuck she's leave me alone and she's swatting him away and walking ahead and then he was kind of like following her and I'm like okay whatever and then like this continued and then I, I we, we walked into the same train and then he went down and sat next to her and then started to lean in and grab and do stuff mm -hmm. again so I went yo dude what the fuck are you doing like right. seriously like yeah. can't she wants nothing to do with you know and then they both looked at me like super shocked and then she starts last laughing and goes oh no no it's okay yeah. no uh, he's that's my guy that's my yeah. dude you know and the guy kind of like goes from shocked to being like what then goes like, oh, and he's like, oh, yo, no, you're a good dude. You're a good yeah, man. Yeah. No, oh, you're a good man. Good. What a nice you know? ending. It's, it's better to be safe than sorry. I right? get yeah, whatever. No, and and, 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 he, and he pulls one of those kind of things and is like, okay, I guess, sure. No, this That's is weird, lifestyle. but yeah, yeah, yeah. With the smacking of the chips and the whatnots. And, and, and it was really awkward because, I mean, I probably should have moved to another seat, but I sat back in the same one. And just like nearby, like close. Yeah, it was. It was. You know how there's um, the you know how our trains are set up where there's like the there's the door, mm -hmm. and then there's the the seats facing each other immediately to the left and right of the door. That's right. Yeah. And then there's two going the opposite no, way. You yeah. weren't sitting in the the one. facing her, and he was facing knees like hitting her side basically. Oh, no. So I was directly in front, oh, no. and I just sat there with my hands in my lap. Just staring at my shoes. The would-be hero. Have a phone? And then, nah, it was whatever, you know, and I was just whatever. <laughs> yeah. And then when I got to my stop, yeah. like, we had a little bit of a, okay, you guys have a, you know, and then they were like, yeah, yeah. It's, you know, and it was like, oh. You did the right thing. You did the right ooh, thing. You thought, you were, thought you were some kind of bad. See, that's your responsibility as a tall person. Is that, is yeah. the, what's the cutoff for... Like helping someone yeah, out. Yeah, being a good Samaritan is there. Is there a height standard? Absolutely. Really, and it's, what is it? It's a uh, five three and above. You must help out people in need that you see. And so okay. what do schmucks like you do? Well, I'm five two, so it's up to me to run away. Okay. And call for help. Yeah, what, on what, what legs? A, what about the differential? <laughs> like, what is the what? Like, what is the gap? Like, for example, if you see someone that's six foot causing trouble, yeah. and you're five two, so you're gonna run away. That's right. If I see someone that's seven feet, yeah, that's right. It's still my opportunity. It's still my job to step in. That doesn't. No, you're good. Because it's seven no. feet. Like it's it's no, the anybody bigger than you, you get to run away. Well, but by of any size whatsoever. Oh, absolutely. Okay, so basically, this is a rule set I adopted because I am small. Got it. Got it. Okay. So if I saw some kids hassling somebody and I'm bigger than the kids, which is not necessarily even the true sometimes, I could be like, "Hey, kids, you stop that," but not if they're big kids. So you could stop a seven-year-old. I could. Okay. And that's about it. I could. Oh, yeah. But All once right. we start getting up into that, like, that mid, 14 range. Yeah, it gets a little dicey. It's like, it's, it's, hey, hey. Listen. Gets a little uh, squirrely up yeah, in that range. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Kids these days, they're getting bigger and bigger. Okay. And I'm not. Okay. So there's there's rules to cowardice then. Got it. Yeah. Makes sense. Hmm. Makes sense. we got to write these down. Just, just. See, I yeah. Because 
Like, mm-hmm. I, people are probably going to remember. Shovel? Pat, didn't you, didn't you, what's that? Shovel? Shovel? Keep digging. Mm-hmm. People probably remember that I talked about getting a lot of fights in high school and stuff like that. And I'd fight kids that were bigger than me because they were dickheads. Mm-hmm. But that was back when you're a child. When you're a child, you're able to commit all sorts of fucking violent crimes and not get in trouble. Like, you can bite a kid's face. Mm-hmm. Or you can th- throw, like, a heavy thing at them. I and think- that's not even against the law. Well, I mean... Uh, but, uh, like, when you're an adult... A lot of it goes away when you turn 18. Yeah, you, you can't do those things anymore. You get in trouble. You can play the Shadow of the Colossus music in your head. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I don't think you can bite a kid's face at any point and not get in any sort of trouble. That's where you're wrong! Have you bit a kid's face? Oh, before? yeah! I totally bit that kid's face. What was his name? His name was Abdul. You get like, you get suspended. He was like for six and a half feet tall in like fucking grade ten or whatever, and he was pushing me around. So I jumped up and climbed on his shoulders and bit him in the face. That's a suspension at the very not least. for me. Are you a fucking howler monkey? What the fuck is that? Listen, he's he was really big. Okay. Was how, really big. how did you leap that high into the air? I used to I used to play springs. basketball. I had I had better you legs. Used to play basketball. I did used to play basketball. Were you the basketball? I. <laughs> All right, so uh, now would be a great time. This would now be a great time for me to uh, point out that, uh, yes. Uh, well, first, we'll start with your week. I'll let everyone know Matt's still in Philadelphia from the uh, Too Many Games event that occurred. So what was your week like? And well, your week can actually be an extended period of time because for guests, it doesn't actually have to be the last seven days. Oh, why, you know? thank you. Uh, well, I, uh, I went to Midwest Fur Fest in Chicago, Illinois. And that was a wild goddamn roller coaster. Is that coaster. exactly what it sounds like? It's exactly it is. What it well, like. it, it is. It is and it isn't. Um, so I, so my friend Adam, who you know, um, he was a guest on the show. He's from uh, Adam from Your Movie Sucks. Mm-hmm. He and I are super, super, super good friends. I adore him. He is like just the moon and the stars in my eyes. I think he's amazing. Um, he, man, it's super weird hearing my own voice in these headphones. Yeah, we I'm don't like, use, it, usually use them at home, huh? Yeah, no, yeah. weird. Makes um, it easier to eat the mic. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Uh, so um, we uh, started hanging out um, through my other friend, uh, Dick Masterson. Uh, we met up, uh, all three, the three of us, for dinner um, last year, like right around this time. And um, Adam and I ended up hitting it off really well. And he's like, hey, why don't you come to Midwest Fur Fest with me today? And I was like, okay. And this was last year. And we went only for like a day. Mm-hmm. We had the best time. It was the weirdest experience I had had at that point in my life thus far. Because there were people walking around in, in at that time when I was like mascot outfits, right? Mm-hmm. Like I knew about furries, I knew, but I'd never been around a large group. Oh, were it you not wild. aware of furry culture? Oh no, oh, no, I was, I was, but only like removed. I was only in, I was there. in the middle of it. Like I was uh, smack dab, and then it was happening around me. Because it's been it's been years, and and furry culture has had a chance to really um, ferment. Awesome. They have their own like language. Those are those are two different words yeah. for time passing, but. Um, <laughs> They have, they have their own vernacular. Like the, 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 the Yiffing. Point, well, not, yeah, but like, but like straight up, straight up, there was like a moment where Adam was speaking to um, one of our one of our other friends, and uh, la- this last week, and and they were saying stuff about furry bullshit or whatever. And I looked at them and I was like, Are they fucking speaking English? I can't understand a goddamn word. Um, but but so I, I met Adam. By the way, are you blowing him up right now, or blowing up his spot, or is no, that? No. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh no. Adam, okay. Adam is very like okay. that's one of the things I love about Adam because it, it, it didn't it didn't it didn't really come up in discussion at any point. So I was oh, like, oh, oh really? Oh, that's interesting. No, he um well he he's not like hey everyone just so you know he's just like if someone asks he's like oh yeah totally okay he's he's very open about it he's okay. a horse mm-hmm. um so um he we were yeah and it and it was just great so he's like hey come to biggest little fur con with me in May. And this was like six months late after the fact, and I was like, "Yeah, well, we'll we'll see, we'll see." And then I happened to have time off, and I was like, "Well, it's in Reno. I love gambling." So I was like, "Yeah, sure, why not? Whatever." It was a fucking blast. The furries know how to fucking party, dude. I was so f- I was so fucked up well, yeah, for four I mean, days, and I don't drink very much. They got I, they it, got they got the party zippers and and hatches. Dude, dude, dude. Well, that's the weird thing. Most of the dudes I hung out with don't really suit suit up i guess or whatever the fuck okay um they, like they wear the tails occasionally the ta- they go the for the tail and the ears right, yeah right. Well, keep well, it keep it presentable yeah yeah, yeah optional yeah. well some of them do suit but it's only for a certain keep it of cool time. manly right because the suits are hot they're, by default yeah they're super super hot um well some of them have like cooling um fans in there and cooling bullshit in there it's why it's wild the tech like the tech and bullshit that's involved nowadays um so anyway and we had, had such a great time he's like well come to midwest for fest with me um, in six months after this, and that I'm like, was yeah, last right. week. And that, and and so that that Man. is where I am now. 
And so I, I went. I'm Goodbye. just thinking that, like, I've seen those videos of, like, ridiculous Iron Man suits where, like, the mask opens up <laughs> and awesome transforming, like, backpack stuff and the Spider-Man or the actual Iron Spider legs mm-hmm. are fucking moving. And it's like, I'm sure furry suit tech must be ridiculous the at this point ones, there if are you've some. got if you've got if you spend your money on nothing but there was a cy- there's a cyborg there was a cyborg one where he, his head like did this and it looked like it looked like if daft punk was like i don't know like a foxy wolfy canine looking thing mm-hmm. and a helmet and like there, there was like um, oh i saw that i did yes, see that yeah, yeah, yeah where his those. facial expressions were yeah. from a screen they they press something in their yes gloves yes and yes yes i did see that change. one it's wild it's super cool um tell me about sonic fox and violent j so, well yeah i mean yeah, yeah cause like yeah. You know, and now in a post Sonic Fox, like lighting the main stream on fire at the Game Awards and fucking, oh, god damn, yeah, that was yeah. awesome. That was, it was fucking uh, cool. This is, so So you were in there. So I was, yeah, and Sonic Fox was there. He was also at Biggest Little um, as well. Um, he, he goes to like fucking all of them, all of them. it seems, yeah. Cool. Um, and um, it's, I don't even know where to start or where to begin. It's, 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 I, I had no idea that it was like 80% gay and gay dudes or bisexual dudes it's um mostly dudes i'm shocked that you didn't know that that was like the first thing i found out about furries i had no idea it's just it's just a bunch of uh queer guys and they're all and here's the thing when i went the first time to biggest little i was like i was like oh um i'm ready for the wall of bo not one person smelled not nothing yeah musky huskies as they say another lingo thing 